Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games stylishly. Today I wanted to talk about something that's been going on in my mind ever since I heard it. It is regarding the ending of God of War 3 and the intended meaning behind it. The other day I was talking to one of my friends and viewer of the channel, Zig the Kid. Get it? Because he's he's kidding. So we were talking about God of War 3's ending for some reason and it turns out the two of us had complete different interpretations about the ending. Now I have spoken about this ending before in my top 5 Kratos deaths video, but I only talked about Kratos intent when he stabbed himself and what he truly, you know, wanted to achieve, what he meant by stabbing himself. But that's a video that you can watch after this one. Today's video is different though. It's about Kratos actually dying and not signifying a return by any means. Crazy, right? Let's go over what happens in God of War 3's ending. So Kratos stabs himself with the Blade of Olympus and releases all the hope to mankind, or so we thought. Athena gets pissed, gets the blade out and leaves Kratos to die. Fast forward after some long credits, we see this clip of Kratos escaping and symbolizing that he didn't die die he will return, it's just that we didn't get a text that says Kratos will return. Okay, now this was my interpretation at the time, that he will return one day, and please know that this is before any other God of War like 2018 was announced or anything, okay? I made this interpretation that I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all also made back when the game dropped. So, what's wrong? How is there another interpretation of all this? Well, here's how Zig interpreted this scene. This is gonna be very interesting, just listen. The whole death of Kratos is a metaphor for what he already had in mind back in God of War 1. So let's rewind for a bit. Okay, Kratos stabs himself. Hope, don't forget the magic word, leaves his body. He doesn't die, almost dead but not completely dead after stabbing himself and Athena leaving him. Fast forward after the credits, we see a trail of blood leading to this cliff keep this magic word in mind too, blood trail leading to this cliff with water beneath. Meaning that Kratos kissed himself. Again, like a certain other time where he didn't have hope and parkoured over a cliff. Meaning everything got brought full circle basically. So from God of War 1, the quote, now there is no hope, happens in the literal form here. He releases all the hope. The blood trail to the cliff is another way of showing Kratos throwing himself from the cliff like in God of War 1. How he always wanted to die. All of this leading to Zig's interpretation to have us believe that this is where the series truly ended. It all got brought full circle. Greek tragedy. Revenge didn't get him anywhere but hell. And this is how the hero turned villain dies. End of story. Pretty interesting, right? Now I, for the longest, never interpreted it like that. You know, I always saw the slow background music speaking in a way that tells us Kratos will return. The way Zig interpreted this, however, is that it's just tragic music playing for a character that always wanted to die this way. And please remember guys, from 2009 when God of War 3 released, all the way to 2016 when God of War 4 was announced, there was nothing that you could really, you know, know about this whole thing. Everything was left for your interpretation in this ending of God of War 3. It's easy to say that they meant Kratos will return, you know, now since we got God of War 2018 and Ragnarok. But at the time, it was all left for interpretation. And you know, the interp the, still, the interpretation that I got was that Kratos will return. And I personally still see it as a Kratos will return ending. I got a whole different vibe out of this when I first saw it. Zig, on the other hand, got a whole different philosophical ending of a character vibe, which is something I never thought about, honestly. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this. Did you lovely fellas also have a different interpretation than the masses, like Zig? Because I'm pretty sure the majority got the feeling of, hey, Kratos is not dead, alright. Which is what I also got, and I'm still believing, I don't know. It is a very interesting take, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. This is where we reach the end of the video as well. Please subscribe as I want to grow my channel, I make God of War stuff, and I stream it from time to time. It has been your Extreme Gamers Zesty. Peace.